Welcome to the eight tutorial video series. This video will talk about how to work with basic sequence files. First, use the menu to open a sequence. You see that sequence windows, both on the Mac and the PC, have a toolbar at the top. A um, information box showing the current sequence that's selected. A feature table. You can make this table larger or smaller by dragging here. You can hide this toolbar by clicking here. Then there is a sequence window with um, numbers across the top indicating the um, base position horizontally and then vertically as you scroll these numbers indicate the index of this position. There's a map of currently highlighted features here that we'll talk about in a later time. There is a comment box here that can be um, typed into to save information about the current feature file, uh, the current DNA file. You can hide that by clicking here. You can also Make it larger by dragging here. The currently selected region has information displayed up here. If you have no selection, it will show the length of the sequence here, the insertion cursor position here. You can double click here to change that, move your insertion cursor to a different position. If you select text, there'll be a start position of the selected text, the length of the selected text, and the end position of the selected text. Then there is a modulo 3 of each of these numbers indicated with these less and greater than signs. Then there is an indication of whether there is an open reading frame uh, in the forward and the reverse direction and how many amino acids long that reading frame is if there is one. For shorter selections, the melting temperature is calculated for the selected DNA as well as the percent GC basis. Then this is information about whether the sequence is treated as circular or linear. You can change that by clicking here or in the edit box, you can change from circular to linear. You can change whether the sequence is treated as methylated or non-methylated. If the DNA is coming from an E. coli source, most times that will be methylated unless you have a special genotype. So you'll generally click that. Whereas if the DNA has been from a PCR source, you'll want to turn that off. And that will affect how restriction enzyme sites are found. The feature table can be clicked to um, go to particular features. Or you can go to features by clicking on them within the map. So you can click to any of these, and that will highlight both the feature in the feature table and in the sequence. You can edit properties of the features by um, right-clicking, or you can um, edit individual features with a dialog from the right-click, or by double-clicking here. If you shift-click on this, you can bring up buttons that allow you to further edit features without using the right mouse button. You can right click on any particular um, data within the table to change that data. You can add new features by doing feature new feature and edit any of the information here. Or you can um, edit the information in the table.
Go to the next video to see more information about how to work with Ape.